And, uh, yeah, fast turn. I draw! <laughs> Minion Kip! <laughs> Alright, another one. Yeah. Okay, now let's see. My name can't. <sighs> One more. Okay. My name's Jim. What? I'm not even done shuffling. <laughs> what the? Oh, okay, I get it. Exodia's back. The easy wins are real. Obliterate. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. Chef is back. As long as Mystic Mind doesn't come back, I'm happy. I can live with all this. Chef's the best player ever. Besides me, anyways. He seems like a pretty cool guy, huh? I actually signed a play set of Mystic Minds that Jeff signed for a fan because he wanted me to sign them too. That was cool. How come I never get fan mail? I don't know, probably because your only real power is to make Bling appear. And that's not even a Yu-Gi-Oh power. I'm the best duelist ever, and I play the best deck ever. Birds. Bad birds. What you gonna do? Play Rescue Ace. Ugh, how'd I know you were gonna say that? Because machines go burr, and Rescue Ace has a big titty goth girlfriend now. <laughs> yeah, I saw the YCS Indie results, and every Rescue Ace deck except for one was playing Black Witch. What a goth girlfriend does to a motherfucker. <laughs> what Manadium does to a motherfucker. Trip playing Manadium instead of Pendulum. Conspiracy confirmed. They cloned him. God, I hope so. Two troops running around to party with sounds like a great time to me. Does that mean there's two Cornelius around as well? Because that would be a disaster. A black hole would form and everyone and everything would get sucked in. So we would activate Dark Hole? She would activate restraining orders to say the least. You purely player looking nibbas. Seriously though, I thought you were just joking about that. I'm facetious so much and so often that I'm usually right. Plus, just look at the cards. <laughs> you can tell. So you can tell what decks people play just by looking at them? If you didn't know me, what would you think that I played? Something... weeby. That's such a cop-out answer! Yu-Gi-Oh is weeby! Join the dark side of the force. Gives you focus. Makes you stronger. <laughs> what makes you stronger is playing Labyrinth. Once again, it is the trap deck of the format over a deck literally called Trap Tricks. And it's probably the anti-meta deck to play in the format as well over birds. You shut your mouth, nothing comes close to my bird bitches, not even my housemaid bitches. Look, and I thought this format was going to be completely off the chain. And it's still really off the chain, especially after Richmond. But it's not as off the chain as I thought it would be. It's because Age of Overlord came out and dropped some really good cards. And some really good archetypes. I mean, Kevin won locals with Horus just the other day. Can I Kevin or our Kevin? Our Kevin, of course. I haven't talked to Konami Kevin since the new Volcanics came out. I wonder if he gets treated differently at work for talking to us. Huh. No, ma'am, the game is no more occult than literally everything else around you. You just don't understand your own religion or anything else. Mouth breathing, mouth breathing, mouth breathing. I'll just go do that and I'll burn in hell. Thank you so much for calling. Oh, I love being in the religious weirdo queue. It's my favorite, totally. <laughs> oh, I hate this job. The fuck's a Makenko? And why is it so good? My next waifu deck, that's what. Every Amazing Defenders deck has won a YCS now, by the way. Dark Magician Girl, Dragon Maid, Harpies, Labyrinth, Lyralisk, Trap Tricks. Where does it end, Eugene? Where does it end? When I get my Makenko bitches. So it ends for a few months tops before you get thirsty for more weed bait. Gotcha. What if I got you a real girl to talk to? Hmm. Will she be quiet most of the time? And have feathers and huge titties? And speak Japanese? <laughs> no. No, thank you. I'm saving myself for only the perfect girl. You're saving yourself from ever talking to a girl. I'm saving my money for Makenko and that's I should have saved my tier cards because that deck is still alive. It's like zombies. <laughs>
or Burning Abyss. One of my biggest regrets in Yu-Gi-Oh! is selling my Burning Abyss stuff early instead of keeping it and playing it this whole time. Even up until right now, almost 10 years later. So yeah, Dillis Lions came out in 2014! Oh yeah. Dillis and Lions came out in 2014. I was so into Yu-Gi-Oh! at the time. And I was so into that era of Yu-Gi-Oh! at the time. Melonius were my bitches then. I need to call them. I gave my left nut for a Necros deck. And now I can't have kids. And I'm still broke. We all knew the card pool, the set releases were well planned out. Except for Seekers of Eternity. Yu-Gi-Oh! was fun, man! Wait. Yu-Gi-Oh! was fun? Subscribe! <laughs>